In this video, we will walk through on how to create a logical device cluster in APIC consisting of physical big IPs in HA mode. First, we log into the big IPs to make sure that they are in a healthy and clean state. We see the hostname, the IP address, We go to the device management and the device group tab. We do the similar on the other node. Once we make sure the big IPs are in a clean and healthy state, we then log into the APIC. We are going to create a logical device cluster in tenant common. Right click on L4 to L7 to create a logical device cluster. Give it a name of your choice. Choose the version of the device package. The model as unknown. You can choose the mode as HA. Device type physical. Context aware multiple. The connectivity physical domain. The management is out of band and then provide the credentials of the big IP. Device 1 is the big IP device 1 management IP address and management port. The physical interfaces define the physical interface on the big IP and to what it connects to on the leaf. In our case, it connects to leaf 3, node 47 and 48. The direction would be consumer. We do the same for the second physical interface. 2 underscore 1 and 2 underscore 2 are the actual interface names on the big IP. For device 2, we specify the management IP address of the second big IP to be used. And we do the similar steps for the physical interface. In this case, our big IP is connected to leaf 1, port 47, and port 48. The cluster management IP can be either the IP address of device 1 or device 2. On the next screen, we can configure additional big IP parameters. In this case, we will configure the hostname for device 1 and device 2. Since it is in HA mode, we do need to specify the high availability parameters the interface name, the IP address, the net mask, and the VLAN. Since these are physical devices, it is assumed that the interface 1 underscore 3 is hardwired. You can use any arbitrary IP address and any VLAN that does not interfere with dynamically assigned VLANs by APIC. Once you click the next button, the logical device cluster will be created. We see right now the device is in audit pending state. And in a few seconds, it changes from audit pending to a stable state. This means the communication is successful and the HA pair has been formed. We log into the big IP and notice that under device groups, we see the logical device cluster created and it consists of both our big IPs. We see it's an online in sync. This is the standby. And we also see the host name that we provided. We log into the second big IP and see the similar configuration. This is online active and in sync. We also see the VLAN created as well as the self IP.
that's used for HA. Once the logical device cluster has been created, you can click on it and to view the parameters, you can click on the parameter tab to see what has been configured. This concludes the video. Thank you.